Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate WebEx with the Simply Schedule Appointments plugin so that you can generate a WebEx meeting URL along with your uh, website's appointments. Um, so to start off, we're going to head over to the Appointments tab, which will open up the Simply Schedule Appointments dashboard. Uh, from here, we'll go on over to the Settings tab. And if you scroll down, we have a WebEx card for the settings and it'll appear grayed out, but all you have to do is toggle it on like this if you're in one of, on one of the premium editions of Simply Schedule Appointments. And from there, you'll be able to click Edit. And on the WebEx settings screen from the plugin, you'll see we have an authorized WebEx button. All you have to do is click on that button and you'll be redirected to log in using your WebEx account. I already have um, some credentials saved here, so it'll sign me in and it might ask you for your password, but I think I'm already logged in on a separate page. But from there, the account will be connected and you'll see on the Simply Schedule Appointments WebEx setting screen that it lists my name for this particular account. It's Foxy Simply, and then it also lists out my email address for this account. Um, and if you ever need to disconnect it, you can use this disconnect button. But I'm going to show you how to set this up with the booking calendars. So if you head on over to the Appointment Types tab, um, I've already set up a booking calendar called consultation video call. So I would just need to click in. You'll see I have a couple of tabs and we have one for web meetings and you have the option to create a custom or add in your custom one. So for example, um, WebEx does provide this personal meeting room link that you can copy and paste into that field. Oops, wrong tab. And you can also generate a WebEx unique meeting URL so that you have a different link every single time, but you have the option to create a private meeting or an open meeting. So with the private meeting, you would be required to be at that link to let all the other attendees in, whereas the open meeting, any one of your attendees can join automatically once they click on the link. Here, I'm going to use a private meeting link as a demonstration. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. So now that I have my WebEx uh, settings correctly set up in the appointment types, I'm going to book a test appointment. So if I head on over to my front end page, so this is my home page, let me refresh it really quick. All right, so now that we've booked our test appointment, I want to show you a couple of the different ways that you'll be able to access this link as well as how your customers would be able to access this link. So if we head back over to the dashboard and to the appointments tab, if we head on over to the um, listing, just click it and it should be listed here as a web meeting. Um, this does take a, a maybe a minute or two to generate, but once it does, you can go ahead and just refresh the page and you'll see it here listed. Let's go and check out the notifications. So the customer will be able to access the WebEx meeting link from the notifications. Um, so for example, we have John Doe's notification here uh, already selected as a preview. Um, and we have some conditional logic up here. So if there's a web meeting associated with this appointment, please list out the web meeting link. So if you look closely, it does say at your appointment time, join the meeting using this link. And this is my meeting link. Um, another way that customers would be able to access the um, web meeting link along with the admins too would be using Google Calendar. So here I have a meeting with John Doe. And if you look closely, we have the WebEx meeting link listed here as well. If you're using Google Invites and Google Calendar Sync, you're customers would be able to automatically receive this as well as the link to go with it. Another place would be your WebEx dashboard itself. So from your WebEx dashboard, if you go to the meetings tab, um, you'll see I have some other test appointments listed here, but we have the one we just made from John Doe for the consultation video call. If you look closely, you'll see under the meeting information, we have the meeting link um, and then all the attendees listed. And so that's pretty much it. Uh, let us know if you ha guys have any questions. I hope this was helpful if you're interested in setting up your WebEx integration.